Welcome to episode six of Project W, where we are taking you on a journey to create more opportunities, sales, and growth for your business using walmart.com. We're showing you how to sell your Amazon products on walmart.com using these same simple methods. I'm Carrie Miller with Helium 10. And I'm Tim Jordan with Private Label Legion. And in this episode, we're going to show you everything you need to know about writing a Walmart friendly listing. So in this episode, we're gonna to talk to you about writing a really good quality listing for walmart.com. I think for a lot of people, they're a little bit intimidated by this, but you really shouldn't be. It's actually pretty simple and straightforward. I think it's a bit easier actually to write these listings. So I hope that uh, you get a lot of benefit out of this episode. And there's really only three main things that we have to focus on, and it's the title, bullet points, and description. In other marketplaces, like specifically Amazon, there's a lot of different marketing places and brand stores and all that stuff that you could talk about. But because Walmart is still fairly, um, I won't say basic, but it's it doesn't have all the bells and whistles yet that some of the marketplace do, we can focus on these three main things, the title, the bullet points and the descriptions, and basically get everything done that we need to. So in this episode, we're gonna kind of cover three components. We're gonna show you the listing guidelines, everything that you need to know according to Walmart about what needs to be in your listing as far as copy. We're also gonna show you some examples. These examples are gonna be well-written listings and also poorly written listings. And then we're going to actually show you how we took this that you saw a couple episodes ago, my beautiful handwriting, yeah. which Carrie turned into this. And then we're gonna show you how we turned that into the listings that we've actually written that we're going to show you today. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen so we can take a look at the guidelines according to Walmart. Okay, so the first thing is the product name. Which is the title. Yeah, it's the title. So we always wanna start with the title and the title is always really important because you wanna get those main keywords that you wanna rank for in the title. And also the buyers are gonna see the title immediately. But remember we showed you in the anatomy of a listing, you have to scroll way down to get to the bullet points mm -hmm. description. Still important, but that real estate of your title is massively valuable. Yeah, and that and it fits on that the main search page. So if this title is good enough to catch their attention where they can just click add to cart, that's an even better win. So the limit for the characters is actually 50 to 75 characters. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't go over. You'll just probably get dinged a little bit on your listing quality score. So sometimes people just, you know, maybe take a hit there just because they feel that they need a little bit longer title. However, I don't recommend keyword stuffing. That's something you want to avoid. Make sure that when you read the title that it is uh, read, you know, something that a customer would be able Easily to understand. understandable. And they yeah. say it right here. Clear, uh, specific product title, customers can easily understand. So exactly. yeah, don't keyword stuff, make this thing nice and pretty and smooth. They do <laughs> require your brand name to be in here, just like Amazon. And you'll see how we finagle the system a tiny bit with our egg tray. You'll see what we did there, as well as the item name and model number if applicable. Don't worry about that. Key attributes, and you'll see how we included that with the number of eggs that it holds. And we don't have a pack count, so we didn't put the pack count or and the size, uh, not necessarily put that in there, but I might get dinged for that later. So Well, we'll I see. think the size is probably more like, like the 12 egg tray. Yeah, 12 or, and 18, or yeah. if it was large, extra large for t-shirts. Yeah. Yep. All right, so uh, the key attributes should include keywords that are most likely to be used for searching this product. So we want the most um, relevant keywords for this particular product to be in the title. So we have a wooden egg sh egg tray, so we want to have that in the title. We have wooden egg holder or something like that, something that's very specific to what your product is. And what's interesting is so many times we think, well, there's a higher search volume keyword like kitchen accessories or food storage, right? Now this technically is food storage, but don't try to rank for food storage because we think it's a higher volume keyword just because we think it's better real estate because it is less relevant. This is still food storage, but it's more specifically and more relevantly an egg tray. So make sure to stay on topic and on focus. Um, and then it also says if a customer is likely to search for a color of this type of product, then you're gonna wanna include that in the, in the title. So there were some red egg trays in there. So um, that might be something that they could actually um, you know, search for when it comes to color. Now we have an example up here for a Nintendo. So they've got the Nintendo, NES, Classic Mini, EU con console, retro g gaming gray. So it's got the color of it on there. I don't think this even came in another color, did it? I don't know, I don't I'm sure there did. are special editions. Now, Maybe. it's really funny, <clears throat> even their example I don't like, it is very to the point. It's basic. Now I think that 
we as sellers understand the importance of digital marketing and actually selling a product. So we're gonna maybe sweeten it up a little bit, put a little stank on it, so to speak, you know, make it a little <laughs> bit better. That's how they say it in Alabama. That's how we say it in Alabama. <laughs> um, than this, but this just goes to show that Walmart continuously reminds us, keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Don't try to overdo it. Don't try to fluff it up too much. Um, let's keep it fairly basic. So the next section that you come to in your listing is gonna be the description. So let's look at some of these description components. Again, you need to put the product name, you need to put your brand, you need to put your keywords describing, the, the key features, all those things that the customer is going to be looking for. If I like this where they talk about synonyms. If you have a cardigan, make sure that you put in sweater. It's kind of like Dumb and Dumber when the cop's like, pull over. He goes, it's a cardigan, but thanks for noticing. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> guys, we're doing this live, I promise. All right, so uh, don't uh, repeat words, right, in an overly obvious way. Again, this stands for don't keyword stuff. Mm -hmm. and then make sure it's relevant and useful, specific and informative, clear and conversational. This is a big one, right? Isn't that, that's always kind of important to you in the way that you write your listings, but is it nice to see that in actual listing guidelines? Yeah, it's just, you know, it's really easy to get to the point with, the, with these listings. And a lot of times buyers want to see that quickly. They want to know, okay, what's the benefit to me? What, why would I buy this? And they want to see it fast. And I think that's what we're going to be accomplishing with our Walmart listing. And we won't go through all of these because we're going to show you some examples, but they have good examples there. Also, what we call the bullet points are known as key features or as highlights on Walmart. And we have just very limited numbers of those, but here's some of the, uh, the things that they request right there. Include three to 10 of the most important benefits and features of your item. Put the most important features first. No more than 80 characters per bullet point. Oh, look, they call it a bullet point here. And key features <laughs> up top. That's good stuff. All right, so that's pretty uh, cut and dry. That's yeah. pretty much all there's to cover there, right? I also wanted to kind of point out, it says 150 on the description, the 150 words in the description minimum. There, I don't even know what the maximum is, honestly. I've seen some really long descriptions, but if you need to add in more information, that's the place to do it in the description. And then it's 80 characters per bullet. So these are really simple, not like Amazon where you just stuff everything into the bullets. It's supposed to be a very short and sweet, simple highlight of your product. All right, and then we've got some more specific information about these listing detail pages in the product name, the key features, and the description. For example, it tells us in the title, do not put any special characters. So no crazy characters, don't try to get any emojis or anything like that. We need to talk about sales information, product attributes, no marketing phrases, folks. Number one rated, highest quality, uh, best selling, all of that stuff is not allowed. And this should be fairly obvious too. You can't reference other marketplaces, sold on Amazon, sold on eBay, things like that. Yeah, it's actually the same thing for the key features in the description. So you can actually see what you shouldn't do and what you should do in that very last section on the Walmart description guide uh, in the seller help channel. So I feel like we should look at some actual examples now. Are you I ready for that? I think this is fun. This I is always this my is your favorite. favorite part. I love it. Yeah, I, I love just, just analyzing. We just said the same thing at the same time. <laughs> we it's did. getting to be weird around here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to walmart.com and we are going to randomly pick a product. Let's actually look at a keyword we haven't looked at before. Okay. Um, I mean, that's like a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. I know, but you know Keywords, when you're like um, commanded, hey, come up yeah. with one right now. I don't know. Let's look at, uh, I'm looking around, look at water bottles. What about those, the, the hoverboard? Or Hover, hoverboards? Those things terrify me. Water Let's bottles. water bottles. I have a water bottle over there, believe it or not. What about those water bottles where you have to measure how much you drink? Um, what are those called? Uh, we could probably find it if we just yeah. look at water bottle. Then maybe we can see that. Okay, so here we are. I just searched water bottle on walmart.com. And as you can see, there is a mixture of the grocery and regular products. So which is... It's very interesting to see that the regular products are all mixed in and um, that's what was recently done on walmart.com. And there's no sponsored ads. Who would mm -hmm. have ever thought there'd be a marketplace this large without sponsored paid ads ad. for a water bottle? But let's just go to the number one here and take a look at this. All right, what do you think of the title? 50 Strong, that's the brand, squirt, bottle, squirt water bottle with one-way valve. It's pretty to the point. It's got a one-way valve, it's a squirt bottle. I, uh, I don't know follows, what it is, if it's rubber, if it's plastic. Yeah. For it's but it glass. follows the rules. It tells brand name exactly yeah. what it is and the variation size. It doesn't show size. the material, though, which they should put it material in there. So and it looks like it's... maybe used 30% of the available characters. So yeah. again, I would still fluff that up a little bit. Their first image, too, by the way, it's not covering up all... It's not taking up all the space, which is a no-no. And they 
the, they could take out that uh, packaging. Part. Yeah, they could take off the packaging just yeah. like the other one. So I think this is done correctly, but Ish. I think it could be done better. Yeah. Like, so it's by the book, but it could be done better. Yeah. And then of course, let's look past all those and look at the details and then look, those look at- Those just like details. Amazon's listing. It really That does. is an Amazon listing copied over from Amazon. It absolutely 100%. is. A hundred percent. I bet we could figure out what this is. So what I can do is I'll just pull this little uh, x-ray tool here and we actually can go over see where the ASIN is. Oh, it doesn't, it's not showing the ASIN, but I, I bet you it is on Amazon based on the way that it is. Or maybe it's out of stock on Amazon, but that looks like a copy and paste Amazon it, yeah. description they might because be, yeah, it's it just is. so stinking keyword stuff that doesn't yeah. make sense. Also, there's no bullet points here. No bullet points. Or no or those key attributes, key attributes. they call it. Yeah, yeah, this is like, this is an Amazon just on Amazon listing. <laughs> and sometimes people that use the software to transfer over the stuff, like it won't grab the pool. Can we points. go back to that though? I wonder if, okay, so if you were to just see these photos, would you purchase this? I like it. Pretty good. You think, yeah, I mean, I, it gives you a lot of the, um, you know, it's basically showing, I wonder if, can we expand these? No, um, here we go. Yeah, I just wanna see. Okay, so it shows one-way squirt valve, Top rack dishwasher safe, easy to squeeze, fits in cup holders, BPA free. I like it. Um, All right, so Carrie, pick one you want to look at now. We already looked at that 50 strong one. What's another one? Um, I want to do like a more expensive one. Or, okay, this, this, one, this one is one, more yeah. expensive. It's interesting. Oh, here's the one that I told you about that has the, uh, it has how much you drink in a day. I got you. Those are really popular, but I like this one anyway. It's more expensive and it's actually really cute, so. Um, oh, they are not using the swatches. Bummer. Um, okay, so I don't actually know which color that one was that I... Oh, multicolor, probably. I like the multicolor. Mm, pink one. Maybe that's pink. Yeah, that's the one I like. Okay, so the images look awesome on this one, actually. But here, let's take a look at the title. Aquiz. 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 32 ounce pink stainless steel water bottle with wide mouth straw and lid. So they've got the stainless steel in there, which I like. They put the actual- Wide mouth straw. Yeah, lid. that's I, a good title. This is a good Walmart title. And look, even um, Helium 10 is calling this a 94% listing quality score, yeah. score breakdown, if we, which is but, pretty cool. If we look at the content breakdown. So we can actually hit that score breakdown right there. Uh, it'll actually tell us. So it looks like it's saying that the, the the title is a little bit longer, but I don't know. That does, that looks pretty on point. But um, the brand name contained in the title, correct title capitalization. So I guess you need to also capitalize probably mouth as well. And they didn't do that, so they got. Yep. And it is over fifty characters. It's a little too. And long. then uh, it doesn't contain any special characters, which is good. So uh, the description also got a good uh, five hundred to one thousand or more characters. So let's go see what we've got for that. Oh, perfect for I that description like part. I can already tell just from the first sentence that I think they wrote this well. Okay. Like it's actually well written. So the description is good. However, if I look at the the uh, bullet points here, these are just like Amazon. So they, they probably took this from Amazon and put the description that they wrote on the Amazon listing here and then the actual Amazon bullets here. These are too long and they're too Amazon-y. That, that's not good. Is that our word? Amazon-y? amazon, -y? amazon -y. Too amazon yeah, too I amazon do like the description. I just read it. It's to the point. It's well written. So we're not trying to beat up too much on Amazon listing, folks. We're just saying sometimes what works on Amazon is not going to work here. So make sure that you're writing a good listing, not just copying something that it works on another marketplace. So How, the description transferred yeah. well. I yeah. don't think the bullet points transferred well. I honestly perfectly. think that most of the time the descriptions, if they're in paragraph form on Amazon, will actually translate well. It's just the bullets, 80 characters to the point. That's what they want on Walmart. So we're going to call that actually a pretty well-written listing. Yeah. They could have softened up, I guess that's the term, softened up the uh, bullet points just a little bit, and I would have been just a tad bit yeah. happier with it. So can I pick the next one? Actually, it's, can we change the topic? Mm -hmm. Go to yoga mat. Not that I do yoga. I promise I don't Is do it yoga. One T. Yeah. yeah. All right, yoga mat. I want to look. Let's just look at the first one. Are there any expensive ones? You love the high price stuff. Right? I do. <laughs> All right. Well, let's look at this one because it's number one. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's actually not too bad. It looks like it's probably over 50 characters as well. 
And if we go to the score breakdown. It's got a really good score. Yeah, it's over It's over 75. So they probably decided, hey, it's worth it for us to go a little over for our title and we'll make everything else on point. And we're also gonna show you guys later mm -hmm. the listing quality score tool that Walmart has. And it'll be interesting as we continue to like blow past maybe that 50 character limit, how it affects our listing quality yeah. score. So they could be missing out. But again, uh, name brand, very specific indicator of what the product is, very to the point, not too fluffy, but not keyword stuffed. I like the title. And then if we look at the product details, um, I actually like the word overview in there. Mm -hmm. It is easy strapping and lightweight feature. I this Pretty good. And the bullet points are actually pretty good for Walmart. Yeah, exactly. That's really what Walmart wants is very, very to the point. Talk about it. Mm -hmm. Like, so you're selling it in the description. You're explaining what you're buying in the bullet points. That's what Walmart wants. Tells you how thick it is. It's non-slip, free carrying strap, lightweight and portable. Yep. I think this is a winner. I like this one. All right. Do you want to find an expensive yoga also, mat? Also, I do see the attributes at the bottom too, which we could get into later. But um, yeah, so let's, you want me to find another one here? Here's one. It's actually a sponsored um, one, but we can click on it because it's an expensive one. I wonder if there's any, I wonder what the highest price one is. I think that's probably the highest price, Okay, isn't cool. it? so let, hold on, let's say this. Okay. Thing. All right, so now let's let Carrie pick one. She likes the high priced ones. We've yep. got this really expensive sponsored one here. Sorry, we just, did you just click on the pink swatch? Yeah, I was trying to get the pink one. You know, the pink version? I have to go yeah. over here. Yeah, you're right. Oh, because that's in the main listing image. Look, they tricked us. They tricked me. They thought it was swatches. That's so smart to do that in, in the listing image. That is there. actually really smart. So I know you're in like listing images, but okay. so again, if we look at the um, title. A Tiva Fit brand name, which is good, non-slip TPE, yoga mat, eco-friendly exercise and workout mat with carrying strap types of yoga. This is very keyword stuff. I don't like it. It's no good. And look, who cares if it's 72 by 24 tie point two four? Yeah. Like that's just too much. It's too many things stuffed in that keyword. I think they were probably trying to fight, follow the guideline of the size being follow in the title. Follow maybe, but I think they overdid it, especially with the thickness. Photos look good too, if anyone wants to go back and reference this. Photos are good. Can you guys tell that Carrie loves looking at photos on listings? I do. That's her thing. But I bet you if I pulled this listing up on Amazon, I would see the same exact copy, which is fine for the description. I really think so. But the bullets are too long. They're too, they're not following the guidelines. I, and who knows, you might get dinged for this later. So... Yeah, it, they're not getting dinged for like it apparently, it. but it's just too much. It, everything that Walmart's product listing guideline says is keep it simple, keep it to the point. Look, nobody's going to actually look at this, right? You want to know what's the length? Well, it's 72 by you know 24 inches. That's fine, but I don't think that anybody's going to compare that to these centimeters. I don't like the way that's written. And even if you did want to put the centimeters, you could make that in an easier to read way. I like, <laughs> I actually don't like this. Um, they are adding in all of these different material types. I think that's too keyword stuffed. And the reason they did this is to try to rank for PVC, NBR, or e EVA. So they're trying to be slick and add those in by saying, unlike those cheap and traditional non-green PVC. Yeah, like, just like Amazon. Yeah, just so like that's Amazon. That's what you do on so Amazon. So again, quit doing this. If you go back to that last yoga mat that we looked at where the uh, bullet points were just very short and very to the point. And also, go back to the key product features or the bullet point character and word limits. These are way over. So it's easy to kind of think that those limits don't matter because obviously Walmart's letting us go mm -hmm. over. Walmart let us go way over. But the more we do that, the worse our actual rating yeah. becomes. And in fact, look at even Helium 10's rating indicator is saying, only 71%. So just because you can go longer and you can go bigger doesn't mean that you absolutely should. Yeah. So just keep that in mind um, when you're actually building out your listing. All right, so we've looked at the guidelines, we've looked at some examples. Now we wanna show you what we've actually written. Well, I should say Carrie's written. We took the keywords, like I said, that we came up with yesterday, this, which turned to this, and then Carrie has put those basically in spreadsheet format so we can organize them and make sure that as the title the key product description bullet points and the description being written that we're doing it in a really nice, smooth, clean, salesy, simple way, but covering all these keywords. So mm -hmm. Carrie, if you wanna go ahead and pull that up, we'll take a look at it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the copy that we've written for our listing that we're building for the wooden egg shelf. And I have to give Carrie credit because she turned this 
into this that you're seeing right here. So when we started this whole thing, we said that we really wanted to target like between you know, 9, 10, 11, 12 keywords, something like that. And that's essentially what we have right here is we mm -hmm. have 13. So Carrie pretty much nailed it. And if you go back to this sheet that we jotted down, it's a combination of keywords that we pulled from our Amazon listing with high search volume ranking, mm -hmm. as well as other keyword suggestions that came from Walmart that we didn't pull from Amazon, right? So a combination two, if you just pull Amazon keywords, you're gonna miss some. If you just pull Walmart keywords, you're gonna miss some. And we have an amazing combination of both right here, showing the, again, the search volume from Amazon that we had pulled up already in Magnet and Cerebro here, as well as the indicator of volume on Walmart. Mm -hmm. All right, which one of these is your favorite keywords, by the way? Um, well, I like egg container for refrigerator because it's got 48,000 search volume on Amazon, so I figure it's probably pretty high on Walmart too. Um, but yeah, I like, I like all the keywords. I think they're pretty relevant, or actually highly relevant for this product, and they have good search volume. I, I did choose one that was just high. Le you know, usually it's just very high that I was using, but also used high um, egg storage container for refrigerator because it did have a high search volume on Amazon. So I wanted to make sure to include that too. So yeah, that's um, what I did too was, you know, I had this side by side with me. Like I had this list in front of me so that I could write these particular words into the listing. So if we look at the title that <coughs> Carrie's put together here, just like we were suggesting you do, we are very, very to the point. Now, sometimes you have to call an audible, right? And when Bradley and I came up with this goofy yeast chicken coop name back in Project X, we never would have guessed that we'd have to be filling a very short title on a different marketplace. Mm -hmm. So we're cheating just a tiny bit by instead of adding that big long version, we're just putting geese, which you can see right here. Um, I think that it's probably close enough we're going to get away with it, but it's live. It's a case study. It's never supposed to be perfect, so that's okay. And then, Carrie, you said your favorite keyword is what? Uh, the 48,000 search. So egg container for refrigerator. We actually did not put. No. And the reason why I did that, do you want to know why? I think that egg holder is actually more relevant to what our product is. Container is definitely something that I used in the listing, but I was either going to do egg tray or egg holder, but um, tray had a much lower search volume. So I thought an egg holder in the title will be better. And we actually did that on our Amazon listing too. We actually used egg holder because yep. it does have higher search volume than tray. So that's kind of the balance you have to de say, okay, yes, that has 48,000, but is it the most relevant keyword to what we're, we're selling? Probably not. However, it is still written in the listing. And of course we have, yeah, a container in the refrigerator, <clears> but <throat> just goes to show it's not always about volume. It's not always about the keyword that we think is gonna get the most traffic. We have to be salesy. We have to do what Walmart wants, which is very relevant description. So we actually left the highest searched volume keyword out of our title in this case, which most people aren't gonna do, but we think it makes a lot of sense. And then we did add the size variation while adding this bonus keyword of storage, right? So it's 12 mm -hmm. egg storage. And of course we have all sorts of egg storage keywords mixed into yeah. the list. And so, that, that's actually on Amazon. If you add it up, it's almost 20,000 search volume. Yep. Um, very, very high on Walmart still. All right, do you want me to read your title? Sure. Or I mean your description? Sure. Let me say that again. All right, can I read your description? Yeah, go ahead. Gee's wooden egg tray is a stylish, rustic wooden egg tray for your refrigerator, countertop, or tabletop. Store your farm fresh or store-bought eggs beautifully in this easy to clean. It sounds ridiculous me saying that, right? <laughs> but you know what? It's actually well-written. Like the fact that I could even say that and it sounded like a TV commercial mm -hmm. means that this thing is put together, in my opinion, well. Now we could go in here and we could mm -hmm. just mark up tons and tons and tons of keywords. So we are, I won't say keyword stuffing, but we are strategically adding a lot of keywords in this thing, yeah. but it's done in a very, very easy to read, easy to digest manner. So yeah. kudos, That's, you're gonna have Thank five. you. I always like to Snailed say it. that you optimize for the computer and for humans because people are the ones who are gonna add to cart. That's the most important thing in my opinion, so yeah. Very important. And then of course, if you look down here at the key attributes and the bullet points, very, very simple. We were able to sneak in a few more keywords here or keyword combinations that we didn't have in the mm -hmm. description or the title, but it's very simple. Look, we stayed within the character limits. We did even add the very specific sizes that Walmart wants us to, but mm -hmm. we put it kind of in the last place people are gonna see because it's not like fun to read. It doesn't look really nice and sexy. We talked about the material, we covered that. So all of the listing guidelines are met here in a way 
that still adds all of these keywords. In fact, the only keywords that we didn't hit in the specific um, order, like sequence, is egg holder countertop, <clears throat> and then fridge, egg holder, and egg tray refrigerator. However, all of these individual words are in the listing somewhere, so we should index form as well. Yeah. So you have a balance. We'd love to have these, and some of these were pretty low search volume anyways, even though it says very high on, on Walmart, very low on Amazon, and we still have egg tray refrigerator all over the listing, so we should mm -hmm. index for it as well. Yeah, and I mean, I have egg holder countertop in the title. Yep. So, yeah. It should and be that's good. actually saying medium on Walmart, so it was kind of one of those things I thought I should just add to the list and see what happens. Yep. Yeah. All right. Any other notes about this beautifully um, built I think listing? that, you know, you could actually, if you wanted to add more to the description, you could because they give you a lot of space to do it. It says 150 words minimum. So you, you can go on and even elaborate more on how you can use this. Like in our Amazon listing, people talked about using it to display chocolates and different things. And you can you can use it for a party, you know, especially the 18 tray one, you can use it for parties if you wanted to use it as a part of a display for food. Um, there's a lot of different uses, so you can maybe go into more details if you wanted to that way. You can put those in the photos if you want, but um, I did a very simple kind of like to the point, wanted to write something that people would actually read potentially if they are reading stuff and uh, be excited to buy it. It's beautiful. So it's not extremely mm -hmm. complicated. Just again, we've said it a million times. We're going to say it probably 150 times more in this series. Do not copy and paste because what works on Amazon does not work here. And I think this is short to the point, but it looks very, very nice. And I think it's going to smoke most of our competitors, <laughs> at least in the wooden ones, but also in the other acrylic and plastic and ceramic versions because this is just so well written. So to review in this episode, we covered basically the listing writing guidelines, what Walmart tells us we have to do, as well as the beautiful copy that Carrie put together using the keyword research we've done in other episodes for these egg trays. You can review all the show notes or view all of the Project W episodes and other resources at helium10.com slash Project W. Next episode? Yeah, next episode, we're going to take a look at everything that we've written and created, and we're going to put it all together on the back end of Walmart in Seller Center. So we're going to show you how you can upload these all of everything that we've done. Yeah, the images, the copy, everything. Yeah, and we're actually using images that we already have. So um, we'll, we'll do all that in front of you in the next episode. We'll see you there.